Over three years ago, I joined a startup in Virginia. When I received this job offer to join a startup, I was excited because they gave me a new job offer only three days after being laid off from my job during the pandemic. However, I soon realized that after joining the startup, everything they used to lure me to move in the middle of nowhere was not true. From free housing to, Chris, if you moved here, you won't even need to buy a car. I have a bunch of cars you can use. All these things that they said would be true wasn't. And it sucked because when I say I moved to the middle of nowhere, I mean literally the middle of nowhere. At the time that I moved to the city, they had a population of 17,000 people. And after this happened, I realized I needed to stop putting my future in the hands of my employer, but put my future in my own hands. So in result, I decided to start my own business. Some people might be wondering, Chris, why didn't you share this with us earlier? Why didn't you share this with us sooner? One of the reasons is because I knew I have a following. I know that people listen to me and I knew that by sharing this with you, I'll have more competition. But given the current economy, given all the comments and the people I'm mentoring that are reaching out to me who are also struggling, I feel the urge that I need to share this with y'all too. So then what exactly do I do? I pretty much do the work of a developer, but at a much more affordable price. And here's how I do it. I go to every job board you could imagine. LinkedIn, Indeed, this site formerly known as Monster and literally every job site you can think of. And so what I do is I search for roles like front end developer, UI, UX designer, etc. And then once I find a role I think my company can fulfill, I then search for the CEO of the company, send emails to either the hiring manager or whoever I can find on the internet with this following template. Hey, my name is Chris and I run a web development agency. I see that you're looking for this or that. Given opportunities, I would love to do this for you at a fraction of the price. Here's my portfolio and what I've done for other companies, which I'd also love to do for you. I literally email this to as many people as possible. This is what you call cold emails, which is also what you call sales. We need all the sales we can get. If you wanna be a freelance web developer, if you wanna make money on your own without a normal nine to five job, the one thing that you have to make sure that you learn is sales. That is literally the part of everything in life. Even when you're interviewing, what are you doing? You're literally selling your value to that company. You're trying to sell yourself to them, as in this is how valuable I am and this is what you'll be losing out on if you don't hire me, right? And so I literally would send this to people every single week and yes, only a few people would get back to me. Very few, to be honest, very, very few, but that very few amount of people will add up over the years. And when they do get back to me is when I finally send over my rates. This could be either through via email or if I'm able to get them on a one on one call and talk about it that way, which I always prefer because that's when I can get a better picture and better understanding of exactly what they're looking for. Now, as many of you probably know, it is not easy running a web development agency and doing YouTube at the same time. So of course, as I grew, grew my list of clients that I work with customers, I obviously had to hire more people, which is why I've been able to do this while working a full time nine to five job. That's why I've been able to do this while doing YouTube at the same time. All right, so now y'all know what I do. Now, this isn't easy. It, it, it's honestly extremely hard. You have to learn how to deal with customers with their complaints. You have to go above and beyond for customers, whether you want to or not, to make sure you keep those customers down the line. This isn't easy whatsoever, which is why I actually hired a few developers to help me with this, right? It actually ended up being some of the people that I even mentor that I ended up taking on as my contractors who helped me build these projects for my clients. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering, okay, Chris, what do you actually do for these clients? Well, it really depends on what they're looking for. I do try to do it all except for WordPress, but again, it is just a preference, right? Maybe you like WordPress. P WordPress in general can make you a lot of money. It's just, it's just not for me. It's not you, it's me. So what we do is almost anything from building new landing pages, maintaining any projects that already exist, to updating things like the website. Actually, I even hired a, a web designer, a really good web designer that I've worked with for many years to help me clean up websites that already exist, right? As a lot of my clients do now, don't have a good UI UX designer. And so I actually brought in a UI UX designer contractor onto my team to help me rebrand our entire website, which has been huge for people, especially in my portfolio, where there's a before and after pictures of what I've done for previous clients. That is one of the biggest things that's helped me actually gain new clients. 
But I'd say second to maintaining what already exists, creating new websites from landing pages to lead generation and so on is actually a huge majority of what I do now. Now, one thing I've learned is I no longer want to build things from scratch. If at all ever possible, I want to reuse a template that already exists. I want to use code that already exists. It just saves time. There's no point from building things from scratch anymore, which is actually why I actually use something called Wix Studio with my developers. By the way, Wix Studio is the sponsor for this video. Their support makes it possible for me to do this full time, which means more awesome content for you guys. Big thanks to Wix Studio for this. So Wix Studio is a tool that enhances the development process. They have an advanced AI tool that enables setting up complex responsive behavior seamlessly, allowing our websites to look stunning on every device. For instance, I had a client who needed a portfolio site that looked flawless on both mobile and desktop. With Wix Studio AI tool, I was able to set up responsive elements like image galleries and text blocks that automatically adjusted to screen size, saving hours of manual tweaking. If you're a front-end developer who's done a ton of CSS, you know what I mean. I love Wix Studio for the speed, but if I have a really specific client request, I can write all the front end JavaScript and backend that I want. Talking about backend, they simplified the backend process for me. Number one, they do this by having their very own Wix IDE that allows me to write custom backend and front end code to extend Wix and create any business logic not provided out of the box. And secondly, it allows me to manage site and page functionalities pretty effortlessly. And this was a lifesaver when I was working on a multi-page e-commerce site, allowing me to easily integrate and manage user accounts, product listings, and transactions without getting bogged down in complex backend code. And obviously, speed is crucial in this business, which is why I'm so thankful for the customizable templates. They provide a solid starting point for projects, significantly reducing development time. For example, when launching a marketing campaign for a local cafe, we use one of Wix Studio's templates as a foundation and customize it to fit the cafe's branding and style all within a tight deadline, which saved me money, obviously. Stand now more than ever, you need to understand the importance of saving money. Now, I've hired a junior developer for my team and their interactive design features are key for her when building engaging websites. For example, they offer a range of features to add interactivity pretty easily. This came in handy for a recent project where we needed to integrate interactive surveys and quizzes into a website, enhancing user engagement without needing complex coding. So that's the rundown of how I carved my path as a freelance web developer it's been a journey of ups and downs, of learning and adapting. One thing I've realized is that in this line of work, being adaptable and resilient isn't just an advantage, it's a necessity. Whether it's dealing with unexpected layoffs, learning new technologies, or managing a diverse team, the ability to pivot and embrace change has been my biggest asset. And hey, if I can do it, so can you.